Totally like radical. Yeah, I want to talk about like radicals. Yeah, like radicals are radicals with the same index and the same radicand. Same index and the same radicand. Addin' and subtracting like radicals. Okay, so I'm cruising on up here. Okay, eight root five, five roots of five. Uh huh. And I want to add them. Yeah, they are like radicals. They both have an index of two and they both have a radicand of five. This is not unlike adding um, eight x plus five x. These were like terms up here. Down here we have like radicals and they're gonna behave the same way. Eight roots of five and somebody comes along and gives you another five roots of five. You're like, oh my gosh, how generous. Uh-huh, but in any part, we depart. Uh, I have eight and five gives me, yes, um, 13 roots of five. And then what? Mm. Oh man, this came pre-flowered. Sure, now I'm down here, right? Ah, uh, we've discussed what a like radical is. It has the same index and the same Red can. Here, it doesn't appear we have any, but we can work a little harder now. We can simplify this up. This is the square root of three. T he, T he, square root of 27. I can see that as nine times three. And the square root of nine is three roots of three. Yes, when I simplify those roots. Now I do have like radicals. Here's one of them, plus three more gives me four roots of three. Tee he, tee he, and a flat. Oh no, little ones. Oh wait, let's get all crazy. Let's go hard. Uh-huh, here I see this is gonna be the square root of four times. Why don't I factor first? X minus three, tee he, tee he, minus the square root of X minus three. Yeah, we're trying to get like radicals so that we can add them or subtract them or whatever we do with them. Here I have the root of the product is the product of the root and the square root of four is two root x minus three. Yeah, minus the square root of x minus three. Yes! So if I had two roots of three and somebody come along and took one, you'd be like, hey, give it back! But no, um, two minus one is one root of x minus three. Tee he, tee he. Mm -hmm. Yeah, up here. Woo! Bitch thought I was gonna go down there, huh? No, man, I'm up here. Are you trying to tell me that these things work with the index of three, two? Uh huh. They sure do. So then I'm up here. Sure. The third root of 81. What am I looking for? This is gonna be what? 27 times 3. Okay, so I know the third root of 27 is 3. Awesome. The third root of x to the fourth. For every um, three x's, every triple, every set of three, I get to take an x out. So yes, one gets to come out. And here we see we have a 3 and an x left under that third root. Uh-huh. Now up here, I'm going to subtract off. Uh-oh. This is 8 times 3, isn't it? And the cube root of 8 is... Two, yes, two comes out. Anything else? No, I don't think so. And then on the inside, I have, um, ah, uh, yes, the goods. I'm gonna have three X underneath that third root. Now, do I have like radicals? Oh, I do. Uh-huh, so what are we gonna do? Why don't we add their, um, I don't know, I don't wanna call them coefficients, but the number on the outside of the root, yeah, uh-oh, uh or maybe you see you have a like factor or yeah, I can pull it out back and I'll be left with three X minus two times the third root of three X. Get under there. Yeah, sure. Oh, way. Oh, 
Oh, I almost forgot to do this last one. Down here. Oh, wait. Uh-oh, do I have like radicals? Mm-hmm. Like radicals are radicals with exactly the same index and the same radicand. I'm down here, I'm looking at this. Hmm. I have one, two, three, four terms. Oh no, can I combine these? 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 Yes, because they're both root 17. Four and six turn out to be 10 roots of 17. Oh, here I have the root of x and the root of x. I have minus two roots of x and minus another five roots of x. That's gonna be minus seven roots of x. Now can I combine these? No, because they're not like radicals. So then, yeah. I don't know. Last.